This week's word of the week is going to be helium. It was funny, I just Google searched helium and welding, and uh, there was a YouTube video of a guy that was saying, I just thought out you can weld with helium. Well, yep, helium is a very common shipping gas used in welding. Um, I kind of wrote down the pros, the cons, uh, some applications. Helium is also historical for gas tungsten arc welding or TIG welding. It was originally called a helium arc welding because they used helium. Uh, there's been some problems with helium in the recent uh, times, I guess. Uh, one thing is it's, it's, it's hard to find. It's, it's rare for some reason. Um, I, I was talking to the welding supply companies and they said there's actually a federal helium reserve, just like we have for oil. There's a helium reserve. Uh, a couple years ago, the only people that could use helium or get it um, were welders and people that really needed it. So like florists, they couldn't get it because we had such a shortage of helium. So uh, helium has become kind of a hot topic because of the, of the shortages of it. Um, the main thing that welders need to know about helium, it's got a higher ionization potential. What does that mean? Right here. It's hotter. It burns hotter. So if you're going to add helium to something, it's probably because you need it to be hotter. Um, that's one of the pros. It's hotter. Because it is hotter, faster inches per minute. What does that mean? Faster travel speed. Because it's hotter, you can move faster. So a lot of robotic applications will use it because they want to move faster. Uh, again, with the hotter, it's deeper and potentially wider depending on how fast you're moving. So that's basically all the pros. Uh, cons, uh, bad things, I guess you could say. Uh, high cubic feet per hour, it's lighter than air. So obviously, uh, you're gonna have to turn your cubic feet per hour up, uh, which results in using more shielding gas and you gotta pay for shielding gas, so it's a, a loss of money. What you can see right here is dollar signs. Um, helium is much more expensive than argon, uh, not just because of the high cubic feet per hour, but because of the cost. So in addition to it cost more, you're also using more because you have to turn your cubic feet per hour up, so it's just more expensive. Um, con, it's hotter. You might not want it to be hotter, right? So uh, if you're doing something that you don't want it to be hot, you don't want to have helium in it, right? Um, applications, here's a big one. Stainless gas metal arc welding. What does that mean? If you're MIG welding stainless, you're probably going to have a trimix. And helium is going to be one of the components in the trimix because it needs to burn hotter for that stainless to wet in. So stainless steel gas metal arc welding is a huge application for helium. Uh, uh, these materials here, aluminum, magnesium, and copper for TIG, they're also, um, uh, they also use helium quite frequently, but they're not as commonly used. And a lot of times when you're doing aluminum, argon works just fine, depending on what you're doing. But uh, stainless MIG is a huge application. Like tons of people are, are using stainless MIG, right? So that probably is the most used of helium. Um, if you want your heat to go up, get some helium. So if you've got something that's burning a little cold, you can't get the penetration you need, you might want to start looking at a uh, shielding gas that has some helium in it. Usually it's in some kind of a mix. Um, also, if you need to increase your travel speed, get a mix with some helium and try that out see if you can run faster. So hopefully that uh, gives you a good overview of what uh, helium is used for in the welding industry. Uh, that's all I got for today. So uh, thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld. And we'll see you next week.